I want to do a video because some people might not necessarily know how the anniversary banners work. They might underestimate how many orbs you're going to need. And this is kind of a cautionary tale of going overboard on the main banners. So the character that you see on screen was last year's anniversary character, or at least one of them. This is anniversary Ichigo. And he, you know, I'm sure you've heard, is uh, pretty good. He does have a first strong attack that leaves a little bit to be desired. But overall, he's a pretty powerful character. And then you got the second part one character that is the anniversary Yuryu. He is also pretty good. And if you were to go and do all steps on the banner, at least um, the multi, uh, multi summons and the single summons, you're going to be looking around 1500 orbs. It's I think a little bit less, but it's going to be around that ballpark for doing all the multis and all the singles. This does not include step seven of the multi. There are seven steps in anniversary banners. Six step is a guarantee. And after that, you're not guaranteed any more five stars. If you look at the current banners, a lot of them have like step 10, step 15, 20, 25 steps um, where you have, you know, a guaranteed every five steps in the 26th step or the 21st step onward is basically a repeat step with no guarantees. And with the anniversary, you only get one guaranteed five star. Now with the premium, assuming the part one is premium like it usually is, you can you know say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go to do all the steps and I'm gonna save my orbs. I'm not gonna do it. Um, I'm not gonna go too deep in here because I could potentially grab these characters from BBS tickets, five star tickets, you know, down the line. It is something that could theoretically happen. That's 1,500 orbs. Well, part two is similar. So last year we had uh, Yamamoto, Yuwak, and Aizen. That's another 1,500 orbs to do all the steps on the main banner. That does not include the 207 or the seven, seven step, which would be a 250, because they're not discount multis at uh, step seven onwards. So if you were to do 10 steps at step seven, you're spending 2,500 orbs, versus I believe it would be. 2200 orbs on a typical banner going 10 steps in with the discounts so you're you're spending about 300 more orbs for every 10 steps on average so between the two main banners you're looking at 3000 orbs approximately that is not including if you do step seven um even once however unlike part one of anniversary part two has uh, their characters get a individual banner at some point later on in the month. So this ended up coming out, I believe, July, I think it's 31st. And in August, you had, I think it's starting on the 12th, where you, I believe you had Aizen or Yamamoto. And then like six days later, you had another one, and then the six days after that, you I believe you had uh, you walk. I think you walk was the final one. So individual banners, that's even more orbs. Ten steps, two guarantees per individual banner. Now the individual banner itself is not going to be as good as the main banners, but the caveat is you have a better chance at pulling. The individual character. That's 2200 orbs per individual banner. So if you were to do whatever the heck this upcoming anniversary is, assuming um, like the characters aren't going to be involved, you're going to need to save 6600 orbs just for the individual banners if you want to go and do uh, summons on every single one of the individual banners. You know, let's just assume worst case scenario, you didn't get any of them on the main banner and you want to go in. That's 6,600 orbs going to step 10. Now, if you're lucky and you get one of them within like the first couple of steps, you can either decide to go all the way to step 10 and hope you get more copies or you can just stop, wait for the rerun banners where all three of them are on the banner again and just try again, um, you know, going five steps or 10 steps then. 
So that is the possibility you have. So if you wanted to do the main banners for both of them and up to step 10 on every single individual banner, you're looking at, I believe, around 9,600 orbs. So let's just say 10,000 orbs. That is where you're at. So if you wanna use your orbs you know, efficiently or you know, have a better chance at getting the five stars you want or just more guaranteed five stars, going past step seven or going and summoning on step seven is probably not a good thing uh, for you to do. Now, with the, one of the things that I tend to do, and some people have different little, I wouldn't say like mental games or ways that like, I, don't, I really wouldn't call them like plans. I don't know what the heck you would call them. I, don't, I can't think of the right word, but let's just say I, I get to step six, I get a five star. I'll do step seven. If I don't get a five star, I'm done with the banner. I'm done, no more. If I get a multi, uh, you know, a five star in step seven, maybe I'll do step eight. I'll go until I don't get any more five stars. Now that could be something you could do as well, because then you're at least getting five stars. And as long as you're getting five stars, that you know that's a good thing. But depending on how old of an account you have, you know, maybe you're pulling a lot of dupes that you might have already have five out of five. So there's that potential aspect, and it's going to be different from account to account or person to person so you do have that now the usually it's been this way for a while the part one of the anniversary will be a premium set of premium characters so if you have part one being i don't know let's just say ichigo and rukia i, I don't know who it is i'm just giving you an example let's just say we get a eighth anniversary ichigo and eighth anniversary rukia i think a lot of people think it's white um, a lot of people are saying white and Nishin. I don't know if that's true or not. Like I, like I said, I'm going to wait to see for 100% certainty what it is. But that would be kind of cool. Uh, you know, a white uh, anniversary character. That, that could honestly be pretty cool. So, if we take a look over here. We go to the summons and the characters. If I were to scroll down to here, like if you have the subscription... And you've had it for a while you get one of these a day and this every three months or so um it might be four months it says three months sub so i'm assuming every three months you get that every so often and this i believe has a chance at pulling uh an anniversary character so let's just say even though i've had this for months if i were to use this after the uh premium anniversary characters come out the new ones eighth anniversary i have a chance to pull them same thing with this. This are 3% rates. So I have 258 sets on average. Let's just say for just 200, that'd be six five stars. So like what? Seven and a half five star average. So I should get around seven or eight if my luck is average. I could theoretically do a times 100 multi and get no five stars. Or I could do one and get like eight or nine. Or I, I, haven't, I haven't seen, but you know, it's possible that you get 10 five star characters from a times 100 multi. Now, for the ones that you have down here, this one is a limited pool, so this is not going to have the new premium character, from what I understand. I'm pretty sure this has a, like a specific pool of characters that it pulls from versus the entirety of the premium pool. This one, the five-star summon ticket, that one will pull from all of the premium pools. So that means if I were to use these tickets after uh, the 8th anniversary premium, part one, comes out i would have a chance at pulling the anniversary characters the new ones same thing with the four slash five star tickets and with these brave soul summon tickets i'm at 2.7k so if i get around 3k of these brave soul summon tickets between the exclusives and the regular summon tickets i would have approximately on average 95 stars that i could pull from that from the premium pool you know, and hopefully one of those, or I, I get both of the, the the new anniversary characters from that. You know, that's the ideal uh, scenario. Not guaranteed. You know, that's why a lot of older accounts will end up saving these because they don't want to spend as many orbs on the premium banner to try and get the 
the new anniversary characters, they would hopefully rather pull it from these, you know, these tickets because it saved them orbs. And if you were to save your orbs and potentially be able to use them on the limited banner, that's less. So let's just say I ended up pulling both of them from the these tickets that I have collected. Then theoretically, I would have 1,500 less orbs spent on the banners. That's assuming I didn't want to summon, or that I didn't want to summon on the banner for some kind of, you know, seasonal character that they may have in the banner. So, that would bring it down from 9,600-ish to 8,100 orbs, so 8,100 orbs. So, that does save you some orbs. Now, I'm a person that usually does not like going for 5 out of 5 characters. I'm going to be real with you. I just want to have a larger collection of characters. I did make an exception that over time I will be working towards getting three characters, five out of five. And that is this Aizen, this Yamamoto, and this Yuok. Those are the three characters that I said. Um, I'm not sure what these new 8th anniversary limited characters are going to be, but maybe I'll make an exception for them too. But I'm going to focus on the, the Yamamoto's first. Uh, the Yamamoto, Aizen, and Yuwak, unless, um, you know, they have a specific character that I really want for whatever reason in 8th Anniversary, then I'll probably potentially do at least five steps on each of the individual banners and all steps on the main banner, which would be, what, 3,300 plus 1,500, so like 4,800 orbs, almost 5,000. I'm just doing the second part of the main banner or so the second part of anniversary main banner and five steps on each of the individuals so yeah that's how quickly your orbs can go away you got to be careful you got to be a little bit more that's why i don't usually go too deep on a lot of these banners or i just outright skip them like if you look look at all these premium characters that i'm missing these are all banners that i skipped i skipped this banner, I skipped this banner, I skipped this banner um, right here. This one I did summon on, I don't remember how deep I went. I don't think I went too deep. Um, then we have this Burn the Witch slash seasonal banner, if I remember correctly. I did go, I can't remember if I went five or 10 steps on here. I think I went 10 steps, if I remember correctly. On this banner and I got two out of the three so that was nice this banner I skipped this banner I'm not sure if I skipped or not this was a limited I believe Safwi banner the last one if I remember correctly uh, that they're working on at least you know officially they might come back to this later then this banner I skipped this banner I skipped yes this is a pretty good banner from what I heard I skipped it another banner I skipped here and this is an a banner that I did summon on because shared complete status immunity and uh, I believe a potion super potion droplet character if I remember correctly this banner I skipped this banner I did go on and I think I went on individual wait no I didn't go for the individual I ended up summoning on the rerun and I'm pulling him I think on a it was either his individual or seasonal or uh, not seasonal rerun banner I can't remember which for that one but as you can see out of most of these banners I skipped that allowed me to save orbs for you know like this banner or a different one and I do have orb sources if we take a look at the five stars as you can see I got some five stars that I haven't maxed yet so that one that one um, or actually that's this will be easier if I do it this way where's acquired there we go so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So about six five stars that I haven't uh, leveled, which is what? 125 orbs a piece. So that's what? 250, 250. So about 750 orbs from there. And I got some resurrected characters that I haven't leveled yet. So I have a decent amount of orbs that I could spend on it. And that is not including any new five stars I get from those tickets, because think about it, all those premium characters I'm missing, 
with between the five star tickets, all of the other stuff, if I pull, you know, let's just say like 10 plus new five stars from the 100 uh, characters that I have, like the potential, assuming I get average, um, and not below or above average, I would be, you know, looking at another, what, 1,250 orbs, that brings it up to like 2K orbs plus what I got here um, left. So overall, you know, I've kind of planned it. I don't want to spend 10k orbs. I'm hopefully not going to be able or have to summon on the the premium part one banner. But I'm probably going to go around 5k orbs, give or take. Um, unless I get really lucky on the Thousand Year Blood War. Uh, it's probably going to be Thousand Year Blood War part two um, at the end of this month. So I kind of hope I explained it and how many orbs it's going to take to potentially uh, do all the steps. You know, that's almost 10K orbs. If you're skipping the premium uh, version of the anniversary banner, you know, that's like 80, 100-ish, give or take. If you just don't even bother with the doing the single steps, you will save some orbs on the two main banners. Um, I, I can't remember exactly how much you save. Is it like 200? A little over, like 250, 300? Somewhere on there. It's like two to 300 uh, or amount worth of orbs doing the single summons. Actually, let's go with the worst case scenario. You know, obviously you start off with the free single and you get like discounts, but normally single is 25 orbs. So if and that also is seven steps, that's what, what? It's not, yeah, it's, it's not 250 because you'd have to do 10. So it's like maybe like 150-ish orbs or something like that. Maybe 200 at most. Which ain't that bad. So it's like you save like maybe like 300 orbs between both of the banners. Which would drop that down to 7,800. So maybe it will be in your best interest to just skip doing the single steps. Although last year that's where I pulled you walk. So, in the end, that'll be up to you. Um, I hope I explained it. So, if you're a new player uh, playing the game or you're a returning player who's, you know, playing the game for the first time in a while, I hope I explained it to you on what you can probably expect from these banners. There have been some rumors that the Part 1 might not necessarily be an anniversary or a premium anniversary banner. But until I see proof otherwise, I'm going to go with how it has been in the past. There's obviously a chance they might try something new and they might do two parts to, you know, anniversary and both of them being Thousand Year Blood War. That is a possibility. I'm not going to deny it. I just don't think it is probable. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.